Hey guys, this is Developer Dude. Welcome to our brand new tutorial series where we will be building a restaurant website from scratch. Don't forget, you can also get the source code. Link is in the description. So, without any further ado, let's start this video. So, friends, in the previous video series, we have built home page and menu page. Now, in this video, we are going to now in this video we are going to create reservation page. So you can see this is our reservation page, and here we have a form where you can fill your name, email, date, time, and any request that you want to make, and also a book now button. Okay. So this is our project that we are creating. So in fact, we have made home page and menu page. So this is our menu page, but no reservation page so let's create the reservation page so here is our vs studio code where we have index.html file for home page menu.html file for menu page okay let's create another html file name reserve dot html okay this is for reservation page so now what i told you in previous video go to menu.html and copy and paste some code okay so here is the code copy from head to top control c and come to the reserve.html and paste it here now create body element body okay so this is our head where we have font awesome link css style.css file link and now change it to reserve.css for that we have to create a css file which we will use to design the our reservation page okay so here we have reserve.css now change the file name here reserve dots okay change title reservation okay let's save it there is no change because we didn't add it to the let me show you so this is our navigation navbar let me copy this code control c and in reserve.html paste it here okay so now here write reserve.html okay save it now in menu.html open this nav and write here reserve.html save it open our index.html file tab and change change it to reserve.html okay save it now see the difference so here our home page when we click on home we are on home page when we click on menu we are on menu page when we click on reservation we are on reservation page where we have our header only we didn't write any code in body so you can see this is our header let me say reserve.html okay so here we only have header that is why it's showing here header okay reservation developer dude so this is the title now what we have to do now copy and paste the footer where is the footer here it is okay let's copy and paste it control c and paste it here control v save it and see refresh so here is our footer looks so messy wrap it up and create a div here dot reserve container okay so we have created a div here with class name reserve container okay so in this reserve container create another div 
reservation okay what is this reservation and reserve container let me show you so this is our whole page is inside the reserve container okay this okay whole page is reserve container and in this reserve container div we have reservation this one box this div is reservation div okay you can see this this small div is reservation div now create an element form okay in this form remove this action cause we don't have any backend that is why just keep element okay now create h2 your reservation okay save it let me show you look at this your reservation your reservation okay let me um, comment this okay so i comment this code so our footer will not show on our page okay refresh and here it is okay now in this form what we are going to create you can see this one your name so how can we create this form in the form element create a div okay div is like a box and in this div create a input okay and in this input we will take uh, the input from the user like we enter name okay so here it is placeholder and right here your name what is placeholder let me show you first save it you can see an input here where we can enter the name this one but nothing is showing inside this like in this input we can see your name written here but here nothing is showing it's blank so what the placeholder do placeholder will write there like your name we are writing your name so now this text will be shown here okay you can see your name okay so what this placeholder do it write something inside the input that we take from user okay so in this placeholder write your your email save it refresh here it is okay we can't click it we can't click on it because it's on the header so i will show you when we are when we design it okay so create another div and in this div wait let's style it okay save it now go to reserve.css and in this css first mandatory code is asterisk margin zero padding zero box sizing border box okay now target reserve container our main container of reservation page okay reserve container now set it to display flex minimum height should be 100 vh background let me show you that how you can set a background image like i set here this one background image on the container reserve container div okay to set the image in background we use this background okay in this right here url and in this url write the path of image from where you are taking the image okay so we will take from 
images folder and which one image image 8 okay let's save it let's see here refresh so here is our image here is our image now style it more background repeat so you can see here this image is completed here okay it again started from here you can see this one part is here okay it's repeating so we don't want to repeat it so we use background repeat and set it to no repeat okay sorry no repeat okay save it let's refresh and you can see it's now not repeating okay now this space is blank why this space is blank and how we will fill this so here we use background size so here we set the size of background sorry background size right here cover so this will cover all space okay all blank space it will cover okay so our image has covered the blank space because of this property so we have targeted this one reservation container our main container now it's time to target this reservation div okay to target this we write here dot reservation and here width should be width should be 100% and height should be 100 vh now background linear gradient right here to bottom this we are using to create a gradient effect white minus 100% and transparent transparent okay let's save it and see the difference here so here it is now you can see same as it is first the text was not showing the logo and the te this text was not showing that is why we added a white layer on it on our image so that this text show up, pop up okay now for form like uh, we want our form in the center so that is why right here display flex okay display flex align item center justify content center padding from top 70 pixels okay let me show you so our reservation div our form is here now in the center okay because of this these lines now let's target form form element in the reservation div padding 50 pixel from top to bottom and left and right width 60 percent and border radius 20 pixel border radius we use to make corners round okay backdrop filter backdrop filter this is backdrop filter for make a blur effect 5 pixel blur let me show you so here we added a blur effect because of this backdrop filter so you can use this backdrop filter to create a blur effect and our corners are round now background color rgba two double five two double five two double five 0.5 save it 
सो नाउ वॉट दिस विल डू बैकग्राउंड कलर वाइट एंड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इज द ट्रांसपेरेंसी रेट ओके सो लेट मी शो यू एट दिस टाइम दिस इज टोटली ब्लर ओके नाउ रिफ्रेश इट यू कैन सी लिटल विट वाइट लाइक फिफ्टी परसेंट वाइट ट्रांसपेरेंसी सो दिस इज फिफ्टी परसेंट ट्रांसपेरेंट ओके सो आई एड इट वाइट कलर ऑन अवर ब्लर इफेक्ट ओके लेट स्टाइल अवर इनपुट टारगेट डॉट रिजर्वेशन फॉर्म एंड एच टू सो नाउ वट वट वी आर टारगेटिंग वी आर टारगेट रिजर्वेशन डिव फॉर्म एंड टारगेटिंग अवर एच टू सो नाउ वी आर टारगेटिंग एच टू इन दिस सेट मार्जिन बॉटम means space from bottom 20 pixel font size 30 pixel color rgb orange color 2391230 okay and save it refresh you can see now let's make it in center to do that right here text align center okay save it let's see so here it is now let's target our div right here reservation form and in this form div element okay width of this div element should be 100% 100% doesn't mean like this here to here this is not 100% we are in reservation and form div so the 100% is this from here to here okay this is 100% now let's make the form in the center so display flex we are making the div in the center okay not the form align item center justify content center oh didn't write full center refresh it you can see now our div is in the center our input is in the center now let's target our imports reservation form and targeting the import width 50% padding 15 pixel and uh, margin margin 5 pixel outline should be none no outline we don't need any outline border none and border radius 5 pixel so let me tell you what will happen so the import size will increase 50% okay and the outline will be removed like when i click on it you can see this outline black outline which looks very dirty bad very bad so outline will be none border none border radius 5 pixel okay padding padding 15 pixel will make it little wide so refresh it this is how it looks this is 15 pixel padding you can see your name on the top 15 pixel 15 pixel and in the left 15 pixel you can see this one 15 pixel 15 pixel and 15 pixel so this is the padding okay this is our margin border radius it made corners round okay now let me show you one thing this is our name so here we write our name omji chuvedi okay here we have to fill your email okay so we are writing omg to vedi again okay so now let's target so we are done with our reservation 
form no we are not done yet because we have to create this this and this one and also this button so let's go back to our html file and create another div and in this div create input write type to the date because we want the date from our user right here choose date but it will not show on our page or on our input okay another one is input set it to time because we need time from user for what time he is booking the table okay now create another div here text area okay cut this give it placeholder your request okay let's save it let's see what happened let's refresh it so you can see our import is very nice but this one text area element what is this this one text area element this looks very bad you can also increase it decrease it increase it decrease it to set it a uh, height and width what we have to do just go here and write columns so right here calls 30 30 and uh, rows 7 okay columns mean the wide and rows means height okay so let's refresh it this is our text area now because we only style the input form input and div we didn't style the text area so let's style the text area to do that just what we have to do right here whatever properties we gave to the our inputs same gave it to the give it to the text area okay save it now refresh so here it is what happened to this why it is not looking like this let's see because we have this one thing here which is setting increasing decreasing the size of text area so first we have to remove this how to remove this dot reservation form text area we are targeting and here set resize to none okay now we have removed that now we cannot increase or decrease the size of this text area okay now set the width to the hundred percent because in the above you can see in the above input we gave it to width only 50 percent so this is only 50 percent now we are giving it percent okay refresh it so here it is you can see now now add a button create another div here div anchor tag give it class button class button and right here book now okay save it now come back to let me show you how it is looking so this is our book now how it is styled already because we already styled it in our previous videos so let's change it to look like this we just have to go to over here let's target it write reservation form form dot btn we are targeting 
button set it to display block border radius 10 pixel round margin top 20 pixel and width set it to 250 pixel text line center let's see oh here it is it is moving but in this it doesn't move but it is moving so let's remove this effect dot reservation form dot btn hover and right here transform translate x zero set it to zero means this will not transform now so here it is you can fill your name here omg Javidi, your email address your date time and your any request here okay and then you can book so this is only front end it will not book any table for you so here we are done with our reservation page we have created home page this is our home page and then menu page then reservation page and now our only last page is left which is login page let me show you how our login page looks like so here you click on user this is our login page where is login page this is so this is our login page here is a burger i know i know water is coming in your mouth so please go and grab the burger because the next tutorial for this login page will come next week okay thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update and don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video see you in the next video